Let's see, Monday I turned the big 37, so I'm only three years shy of 40 now. This year has been such an incredible year of growth for me that I think it's only been good stuff that's occurred. Hopefully 37 will be, I'll get back to some of those other things, <laughs> like a boyfriend, <laughs> kids, <laughs> a house. <laughs> right now with my diet, I've been eating about 1,700 calories a day. Oh, the phage is 0%. Yeah. I don't know, are you, is it phage or phage? Oh, I don't know. I, I pronounce I everything either. wrong. You say produce too. Most, piece, most people say produce and you say produce. Really, or like what product? Do you say? What do you say? I thought it was produce. <laughs> all right, I'm here at Haymarket Square. I'm about to get all of my fresh produce that I well, also I noticed that. on that stupid video I said physical training the entire time instead of personal training. You say that all the time. And then I met with my physical trainer Lauren and then I got to work out with my physical trainer and I met with Lauren again. We had more physical training. Unfortunately with the amount of calories my brain is starting to fail. <laughs> They're starting to kill off the brain cells. The, the few calories you're getting you mean? <laughs> Are you cutting back? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just saying. My appetite has definitely increased, but I find that the 1,700 calories balances off the appetite. Like, I don't feel hungry when I eat that many calories. When I drop down to 1,500, then I feel famished. Or 184. I'm wrong. You're right. You can go up. I think I'm retaining water again. Yeah. Yeah, like 12 pounds. So right now, that's 26. And let's set. So the last time you dropped five and a half pounds after that, do I have that math right? Yeah, five and a half pounds. Let's set a two pound and hope you blow it away. Okay. Sound reasonable? Mm -hmm. okay. So I now weigh 186. <laughs> My weight's gone back up a couple pounds, but I kind of expected that because I think it's water. Hopefully. So next week I should drop another five, which will be great. My friend's been telling me I look spelt. What? My friend, one of my friends told me I look spelt. <laughs> <laughs> then I guess. <laughs> oh. Type of fish. I don't know, you guess. It's weird, I'm right handed, but I'm much steadier on my left leg. Me too. Oh, really? Yeah. Why is that? No, like when I do the chilling, I used to walk my left leg. Just on the edge of I'm a little nervous about this coming to an end just because it's so structured right now. It's hard to get away with anything from week to week. But I definitely feel like I've really gained an education in terms of what I need to eat and what I need to do for my body that seems to be working pretty well. And I've shown, I think, some significant progress, which for some people doesn't sound like a lot of weight that I've lost, but 11 and a half pounds is that means consistently I've been losing two pounds a week throughout the course of this. And that's phenomenal because it's not weight that I'm getting back and it's a healthy way to do it and the results are always there so it feels really good. It's not like just dropping a ton of weight and then gaining it right back. I'm excited because I feel like I can keep this going for a long time and I'm excited to see what it's going to be six months from now. I think the most valuable thing I've learned through this experience is patience. <laughs> <laughs> and to not expect the quick results and sometimes the slower results over a period of time are actually much more rewarding and just to eat more in order to maintain my blood sugar levels. So that's been really cool. 